What type of people do you surround yourself with? I surround myself with like-minded people, people who are driven, dedicated, that stand for something. People who would not only help me stay on the path I've chosen for myself, but help me along the way so I would not falter, I would not get into things that I should not be, and all together would help me stay positive throughout my life. Where do you see yourself five years ahead in your life? Five years from now, I see myself graduating with my master's in theology and counseling, moving on to my master's in psychology, and owning my own private practice where I would not only help children in the Christian faith, but children worldwide. You indicated in your profile that you're aspiring to become a Christian child yes, psychologist. I am. How does your pastor feel about modeling in minimal clothing? Well, I go to a church where we're non-denominational, firstly. We do not claim to any denomination of Christianity. And secondly, we welcome people from all walks of life because we do not believe in judging people. God does not judge individuals based on the things they may do. He welcomes all. He has open arms. He teaches us the right way. So even though this is the career path I've chosen for myself, it's not the only thing that I do. So they view me as an individual and not just a delegate on stage. This is very positive coming from you, someone Thank who is you. focusing on positive spirituality. Yes. What is positive spirituality all about? Positive spirituality is all about personal transformation. I believe that a person should view themselves deeply and be true to themselves. So positive spirituality is all about analyzing who you are, your deepest values, the things that drive you, and coming face to face with that in order to bring yourself to a better future. How would you empower women using this positive spirituality? I would use the tools available to us today, social media, the television, the radio, because everybody is using it. I would leave little inspirational tips, letting them know that unless they purposely, consciously, and intentionally decide to change their thought patterns, that their lives would not easily change the directions. I know it sounds easy, but it's really not, because coming face to face with the person that we are deep down, and analyzing it and you know, really scrutinizing the things that we want to get rid of is not going to be easy. But if you put your mind to it, which is the most important thing, then anything is possible. Using these different ways, what sort of changes will we expect from these women who become empowered through your strategies? We will expect women to not succumb to disrespect easily. Women to stand for more than just being a regular housewife, women of purpose, women who will raise a generation of children who will decide to change this world for the better. That is what we can expect. Thank you so much.